guys, it's Techno Trooper here today with a review of iOS 7. iOS 7 Beta 5 came out and completed the iOS 7 Beta series, so this might be the last time um, Beta 5 came out. So yeah, this is what it'll look like when iOS 7 is released to the public. So this is a sneak peek, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and like, comment, and subscribe. So let's get started. Right off the bat, you can see that iOS 7 is very, very bright uh, compared to iOS 6 and iOS 5 and kind of looks cool as well. If you swipe from bottom to top, you'll get this menu bar which has control center which is a quick way of toggling your Wi-Fi, your airplane mode, Bluetooth, do not disturb, and orientation lock. You can also switch your brightness um, to your liking. You can adjust your volume and play music. There's also a new feature Apple introduced called AirDrop, which is a quick way of sharing things instantly with your friends or everyone around you who has AirDrop. You can also turn on your flashlight, go to the timer and set one. Um, you can go to the calculator app and launch camera. So let's launch camera first. And as you can see, it's very redesigned. What I have here is a filter. So you can go switch your filters. So I'll show you all of them. Um, you can have mono, tonal, noir, fade, um, chrome, process, transfer, and instant. I have picked um, process right now. So let's go ahead and take a picture. And as you can see, it saved to your camera roll. You can go ahead and edit it and first I'm going to switch the orientation then add some auto enhance then you already have filter um there's no red eye then you can also crop it so I'm gonna crop it a little bit and crop and save and it saves it to your camera full as a new photo then let's go ahead into photos. Now you have albums here like before, camera roll, photo stream, panoramas, and videos. I'm going to go to moments. You can go to collections and years. So it's a quick way of managing your photo library. Then let's go ahead on over into clock. By the way, um, I'm not doing it in any order. I'm just randomly picking the apps. So yeah, then there's word clock, world clock, alarm, stopwatch, and timer, passbook. Now to addition to iOS 7, you can now do scan code. So you can scan the code, any code um, on a gift card or boarding pass and the information will be automatically sent to Passbook. Then let's go ahead on over into weather. Now weather is a cool and easy way to um, manage your um, weather conditions. Um, now you can see they move in the background. Um, let me be clear first. Uh, as you can see, New York, uh, it's mostly cloudy, so the clouds are moving in the sky behind me, uh, well, behind the New York in the background. Same with San Francisco, it's cloudy, so you can see a bunch of clouds. Chicago, Beijing, Mumbai, there's haze, so you can see that moving there. So it's pretty cool as well. Now let's head on over into music where there's iTunes Radio, which is a new and improved way to um, listen to the radio instead of Pandora and RDO. So it's a cool way. So there are a bunch of um, um, stations, I mean. So let's go start listening. Since it's kind of still in beta, um, I'm sure... Uh, Apple will release a bug fix, but iTunes Radio is unavailable right now. That that may be just because of my network connection, but um, yeah. Then let's go head on over into folders. So basically, 
in folders now you can have unlimited pages inside a folder so that's a cool addition before you could only fit i believe uh about 24 apps uh, i'm not sure but i think there are 24 apps you could fit before and also um spotlight search you drag up and you'll get search so yeah then let's go ahead on over into notification center then here there is text instead of a picture for weather there's calendar no events stocks um tomorrow there's also all um but i'm not gonna go into that too much because it has some of my information sorry about that um then let's go head on over to game center uh, now in Game Center, instead of like the chess piece and those other pieces, now there are a bunch of big circle things. I'm not sure what they are, but uh, yeah. Oh, and if you want to add me on Game Center, my username is Stealthinator6. I'll be putting that in the description below. Also, um, Safari is new. So let's create some pages. And one more and as you can see now it has a card layout so if you swipe it to the left um, it will go away just like Android and you can also click this uh, or tap on um, this X so yeah um, that brings me to my next point which is the double click home button gesture so you can swipe through the um, apps and you can just um, kill them so they won't run in the background and drain your battery so just like Android you can swipe up to get rid of them so then you're done um, so that brings me to my conclusion so thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys all in my next video.